What's up guys? Welcome to Rotor Riot. It's your boy Vortex and I am Christian. I'm the editor. 99% of every Rotor Riot video, this guy did it. So we're putting Christian on the other side of the camera. We're gonna get Christian flying drones. Uh, I mostly fly simulator because you know, when I'm editing, if I ever watch a really nice drib flow <laughs> and just gets you inspired, yeah, just get like, the I'm itch. pulling up lift off. Just pull up lift off. A simulator is basically a video game that simulates real drone flying. You plug in a real drone controller and fly just like you would in real life, except in a simulated environment. Simulator technology has gotten really good at emulating real world physics, but I personally don't have a whole lot of experience flying in the real world, so that's what I'm gonna try today. My personal favorite simulator is Liftoff, and I've flown that one about 19, 20 hours. 19 hours on so. the sim, that's pretty good. Yeah. You at least know what the sticks are gonna do. It's gonna be a little bit different. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious just like how much of that transfer Translates. Pretty close. Because there's a lot of weird variables, connection issues, batteries, like there's all these different things that are so like different each time. Whereas every single time yeah. you boot up the simulator, you are at that exact spot with that exact setup. I don't know how much that affects skill level. It's close enough to where I couldn't tell you exactly what's different. It's just you know that's not the same. Mm -hmm. It's different, but it's it's enough. But you can you can fly around it. Yeah. Usually. So we're gonna get Christian flying today. But before we do that, let's see what his skills look like on the simulator. Down here is the Rotor Riot Sim PC. We put this together in partnership with Apex Gaming PCs and worked directly with Liftoff to make sure that all the hardware in here is spec'd out to run the game smoothly on full settings with the graphics maxed out. This is something that we put together so that you can pull it out of the box and rip on your favorite sim. I don't think there's anyone that's quite in your exact situation. Where there's no one else on the planet <laughs> that has watched and processed so much FPV footage. That is true. And I mean, not actually be a pilot yourself. You know all the tricks. Like if I say do a building dive, do an Emelman, do a Rubik's Cube, whatever, you can do it in the sim, yeah. but you like just don't just actually do it in real life. never tried it in real life. The spot we're going to today has a parking garage, probably less Less high, matty, flippable obstacles and more <laughs> so of I should stop doing So that. let's see if we can just get you navigating the parking garage a little bit. Yeah, this just is kind of, of as my, one more warm up. One of my harder levels to do. It, it's hard. <laughs> There's something about like this the the scale and the speed of a sim that just it doesn't always um, it's not always one to one. Like I think simming really lends itself to like I was saying that like big high throttle moves where you don't have battery sag, you you don't have as much oh, risk yeah, of that collision. Too. Right? I don't even think about battery. Yeah. Like yeah, you can't fly to just be doing more. full throttle matty flips endlessly. Yeah. Like you can't do that in real life. Your battery goes like, <laughs> but look at this. You're navigating. You're doing it. If you can do this in the sim, there's no reason you can't do this in real life. And segue. <laughs> Unlike a sim, you have to arm the quad. Okay. Yeah. So you, this is your arm switch down. That's arm. Okay. I can so. see it because it's red. It's but red. How am I gonna see it when my quad is on? I usually sit and I don't... No, you got this. You can do this. You've been training for this. You got this. Oh boy. You got this. Look at him go. He's doing it. There's a tree. There's a tree. Whoa, cutting it close. How does it feel compared to the sim? I don't know. Fine. Kind of close. close. It feels like altitude is not as touchy. The like, altitude I can, is I can, less touchy right now? Well, I can feather the, the sim, throttle, I but I'm so. not... I can feather the throttle, but I'm not like going up and down like right. Bob, you know? Mm. Yeah, the sim is more touchy. Like you really see every little movement of the throttle. Like I'm moving the throttle back and forth. Don't go too 20%, far. And like, I'm still staying at roughly. But on the sim, you'd be like doing the bunny hops, you know? Uh, be careful up there. The oh, video will yeah, be bad. Okay. See, that's another thing. Like, yeah, knowing where you can and can't go. wherever I want. Yeah. Oh, whoa, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Oh, he flew away from it, though. I just feel like I can't, like, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. That was a really good power loop. <laughs> oh, that whoa, was whoa, really whoa, not whoa, good. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, man. This guy's a pro. All right. I think I'm dead, dead battery or dead, something. Um, this arm up. Okay. There you go. That was fun, but I'm, I don't like having this. When I look, 
the screen moves with me, so I can't like move my head around. You know, like I keep doing like this. <laughs> it's like I keep expecting the screen to move, but it doesn't. That's a rookie thing. It's All so the new weird. People, they look like they call it the Stevie Wonder. Yeah, when they're flying. Which like I guess makes sense because it helps shut everything else out. But, like I'm used to like looking at a screen. I'm used to sitting down at a screen in a dark room. So what you're saying is you want it to be more like a video game. Yes. Oh, you want a monitor? <laughs> That'd be funny to do one day. Let's do that. You want to do that? <laughs> oh, we could do that. There's a lot more stuff you have to manage. You have to manage your battery life. You have to manage like where you are. I think I might have like puffed the battery a little bit. Why? Did you flew too long? I a little bit. Wait, where is the quad? Is it still out there? You didn't go get it? Yeah, it's not like a sim. You don't just you don't <laughs> go get it. So the uh, shark bite mm -hmm. plugs into the HDMI input of the goggles. Like it's not electrically connected anywhere here. This is just a physical mount. And then you get the video from here and you just power it from the side. So what I've done is I've unplugged this connector that goes to the goggles, and then I've got micro HDMI cable here that will plug in on this side, and then a full-size HDMI that'll go into the back of our TV. I don't even need the goggles plugged in. Is this, is this your happy place, Christian? Why don't you fly like this all the time? This is awful. <laughs> I think that you've got this backwards, and I don't think you're going to be able to fly like this at all. I don't think I'd be able to fly like this. Really? Hell no. You should try it. I'll try it, but... I want to see if, if this is really your happy place. Like, there's a reason we all use goggles, and you're just like, no, nah, these guys don't know. Nah. I'm Nintendo boy. We were not planning on this episode today. This is just actually what he wears on the daily. So weird. Look at it. It's so weird. It's, it's not a screen. screen. There's a lot of old guys at the field that fly like this. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of the old guys at the field that are just getting into FPV, they fly like this. I get like, distracted, though. I try to look at the drone, and then I get all screwed up. Well, I think that's because you come from a fixed-wing line of sight background. You would, at some point in your life, want to look at the aircraft in the sky. Like, have you yeah. ever done fixed-wing flying? A long time ago. Yeah, so it's not really when something that younger. might really occur to you. But it, that's Video something. games, on the other hand, probably play a lot. So you're not struggling with, you're probably going to struggle with that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it does look good, though. It looks yeah, really it good. It looks real good. Yeah, see, this just makes sense. <laughs> this is your happy spot? Yeah. Imagine if this is really, like, if you really wanted to do FPV, and this was the, the setup well, that he do? insisted on. <laughs> I mean, you always just, set this up. You just build it into the back of your car, if that's oh, the case. Whoa, 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 So that's what happened. The control link died. The what? The control link died. What do you mean the control link died? Fail safe? Yeah. I was headed that way yeah, and I lost control and then I got it back, turned it around, and then it lost again. See, that doesn't happen in the in That the doesn't happen in the simulator. <laughs> it just blinks, turn around. Well, when you've got your remote down on your lap, like... Does that... I think that's what got you. Really? I just need to turn up the power level on the transmitter. I kind of want to give it... You want to try... We should try this. Try it out. We should try this out. I want to try it. How did this not bother you more? Here? Everything. <laughs> like, what do I do with my feet? That's funny. Don't, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. <laughs> okay. I don't like this. Oh, oh, I don't like wall. this. I'm gonna go that way. The wall. I don't like this at all. Really? It wasn't that weird to me. This just really bothers me. I feel so much less immersed. But I also don't feel like I'm playing a game either. You know, like, I don't know. It's like this in-between where I don't feel like I'm in the drone but I don't feel like I'm playing a sim. I just can't get in the right, it's just totally a mental thing. I just can't get in the right headspace. Area. We're fine! Where are you gonna be flying? So these are patch antennas. Wherever I want, so th Drew. You can't, oh. These are patch <laughs> antennas. You want these pointed at the drone as best possible, so. I'm just gonna point it this way. My idea of range is a bounding box. Where when you fly out, you hit a wall or it yeah. says turn back. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. You'll you'll just fly until it glitches out and then your quad is gone. You want a fresh pack? You're already down to 5.2. I don't know what that means. Okay. Look at you, man. No, you live it. He's smoothie groovy. Okay, see if you can power loop and like come backwards between the two trees, you know what I'm saying? 
So like you went to the moon there. Oh, okay. So you like if you can make it like a nice tight loop where you kind of like. Oh boy, oh boy, bail, 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 bail. Nice recovery. That was pretty smooth. I have to be way more cognizant of every leaf yeah. and branch. Because yes. on liftoff, like, you can just get kind of generally close. Yeah. No. <laughs> so pull back. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's pretty, yeah. Okay, nice save, nice save. Okay, right back up. Oh boy. <gasps> what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Manny flip? What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I think it's translating. I, I think so. I think the sim translates. If there was ever a question as to whether or not sims were a good tool for oh. to fly. No, you got it, you got it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Flying like this. I don't know how he does it. That, that is the craziest pinch <laughs> I've ever seen. I'm surprised this whole thing is that you're like supposed to be a gamer. Yeah. So, so and I don't use thumbs. You do not that is you bizarre. do not pinch your so you joystick. Me you play video games like this too. No. <laughs> so you video game like a normal person. Yes. But you do the weirdest pinch just like the full <laughs> I do I think some that. like die hard Oh. Oh no. Oh, no, nice. What's going on? Well, that's what's called as a crash. <laughs> um, yeah. And getting you stuck. Also, an issue that happens from time <laughs> yeah. to time when you fly there. It's a reset. No, there's a space yeah. bar. R. The space R, bar. Yeah. We need the stick. Because it's not just about the, like, the money. Where, like, okay, if I crash, this is going to cost some amount of money. It's also like, this is going to take some time and inconvenience a bunch of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I'm just going to try to catch it. Oh! Yeah, but not too bad. Yeah, you're fine. It's very durable. It's like you dropped a, your computer out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fine, right? That's the real world, huh? That's what it's like flying in the real world. Is, are you like hooked? Are you going to be a quad pilot now? Uh, I still don't want to build it. Uh huh. You know? Well, uh. thankfully, in this day and age, you don't have to build quads anymore. Just visit rotoride.com. We've got ready true. to fly drones. I don't even have to know how to do you don't any have to do soldering. No, you don't have to wow. solder. You can just get it ready to fly. Yeah, no, in this in this day and age, there are It's easier uh, than ready, ever. It's easy. It sounds so scripted. <laughs> we love the fact that we can offer ready to fly drones because not everyone enjoys every aspect of this hobby. I personally think that once you've been flying for a while, repairing and eventually building is something that you you learn to love. It's and an I acquired like the taste. Engineering aspect of it. And yeah. Figuring things out. Like I'm into that. I mean, do you like working on your computer? Like you yeah. build right. But did you start liking working on your computer? No. You just wanted a computer that worked. But you like learned to get into that. Yeah. So I think drones can be very similar where buying a ready to fly isn't like there's nothing wrong with that. And I think it gets you in the air and maybe eventually you'll learn to, to enjoy working on it. Or if not, you can send it to us. We'll fix it up for you. We'll tune it for you, whatever you need. These things take a really good hit. Like the quad hasn't needed any actual but repairs Drew, today other than. I heard you needed your own goggle and transmitter setup to buy separately. Where am I going to get those? <laughs> oh, Is there some sort edited, of all in one bundle? You have bundle? edited way too many of our videos. <laughs> yes, we got all in one bundles, guys. One click and you got wow. your goggles, your transmitter, wow. your drone, your batteries, your charger, you know your what? tool. You know, Link let in me the just here. It's actually. <laughs> I'm gonna take two of these. <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by Legends. No! Link in the no. description and I get no. <laughs>